and I'm going to bring my computer over to my printer and everything, and I'll show you how it prints out in the second video, okay? It's very easy, so I highly recommend this product, and I'll be right back. Hey, everybody, Bye. I'm back, and here is the film. I don't know if you can really see it, but what you're going to want to do with it to figure out which is the printable side is dampen your finger just a little bit and pinch the corner. And whatever, I didn't dampen my finger enough. And whatever side feels sticky is the printable side. Okay, so this is my printable side, and I'm going to want to place it face down into my printer. Let me just move this. And make sure it's your printable side, because the other side is just a transparency, and it's not going to take the print printer ink. Just try to get it in here. Okay, so it's in there. And just double check to make sure I put the right side down. All right, I did. So on my software, I'm just going to click print. And you want to make sure it's not on your best setting because it's going to put too much ink down. It's going to waste your ink. So just a regular quick print. I clicked print. And there it goes. It's going to print out my dragonfly. Okay, here we are. And here's my dragonfly I'm going to make into a stamp. Oop. So, I will clip this video with the other ones and I got to set everything up and I'll make my stamp. Okay. Thanks for watching. Hi ladies again. All right. So I've cut my image out of my um, negative black film and this is a dragonfly that I wanted to use for a stamp to make a custom stamp. So the next thing I need to do is take my image pack stamp pack and open up my magnetic holders here and you want to make sure image pack is in the neg is op um I can't talk you want to make sure the image pack is um, in the reverse when you put it down so the soft side is up you're going to take your stamped well not your stamped image but your image and you're going to center it on top of here And you're going to put the magnetic top on your clamp. Make sure it's nice and centered. Hopefully I have it centered on my stamp. Let me just double check here. Oops. Got cat hair on it somehow. No wonder I have four cats. Okay, let me put it on here again. And you don't want to keep your stamp pack in the light for too long because light will affect it. Okay. I think I'm happy with that, I hope. You're going to press in the center to make sure that the gel is flat in there. You're going to turn on your time, turn not your timer. You're going to turn on your machine. And you're going to set your timer for three minutes. And you're going to put your image with your stamp pack into your machine and click start and it's gonna produce the image within the three minutes okay it's almost done it's at 10 seconds and I'm gonna pull it out let's see I hope this comes out really well I'm sure it will because it's a wonderful product okay so that was the three minutes and right now I'm gonna set this turn this off so it's not under the light and I'm going to reset my timer for two minutes for hardening the stamp. Let's take this out of here. Oops, I touched one of the lights. Be careful when you're taking out your things that you're not bumping into the lights in there. All right, so now I'm going to move you over here. Don't mind all my mess. 
And this is um, hot soapy water down here. So here's my image. I'm going to put this in my drawer so it doesn't get messed up. Because you can use them over and over again. I don't need my clamp anymore, so I'm going to put that away. So I don't know if you can see the image in there. Probably not. But it's in there. So now I'm going to cut around. And going into the pink. So that I can release my stamp from the top part of the plastic. And you're going to want to use gloves when you scrub. I mean, I don't mind getting gooey, but it is pretty gooey. I'll just rinse off my scissors in the hot water. And then you're going to peel off the top part of the plastic. And I don't know if you can see my stamp. And then you're going to put it in the hot soapy water, just dish detergent, and you're going to scrub. to get all the gooey off. And you don't have to scrub that much. It's pretty easy to get off as long as your water is warm, pretty hot and soapy. And if you have delicate lines in your stamp, you're going to want to be careful that you don't mess up your stamp when you're scrubbing it. Okay, almost, I still got cookie on there. All right, so here's my stamp. Look how beautiful it came out. So I'm gonna take the little tray that comes with your stamp maker and I'm gonna have to put a little water on top to cover the stamp. So hold on one moment. Now I have my stamp covered with water and we're going to move back over here to the stamp maker and you're going to put it in carefully and pretend making sure not to get water all over the place. And you're going to turn your stamp maker on and you're going to leave it in for two minutes to harden your stamp. 